Hello, so I would like to talk to you about the challenges and necessity of using only English in an English as a second language or English as an additional language classroom. All right, so why must we only use English? Well, after a certain level, when we're holding students' hands, and we don't do this in the other subjects. English is not the only subject where we where we are teaching a different language. If you think about this, we're doing this in mathematics, we're doing this in chemistry, and we're doing this in physics. Numbers are a different language, and when we're using symbolic logic, such as in maths or chemical sim sim symbols, as in chemistry, we do not allow people not to use that okay so it's not it's not a skill that our students are not familiar with we just don't insist on it in english when we do in other subjects and that's wrong the other thing is there is an assumption that the teacher will always be there the teacher will not always be there the textbooks will not always be there there will not be an inter in interlocutor. The other thing, problem is, and particularly in Peru, where everyone speaks Spanish, we are assuming again that the person you are talking with will understand you. This is not going to be the case. You are not learning English to speak with Peruvians. You are learning English to speak with other people. And don't think about Americans either. Maybe Americans are used to seeing Spanish on their bus stops and Coke bottles. The Chinese aren't. The Indians aren't. The Australians aren't. The Nigerians aren't. The last Avengers film but one is filmed in Nigeria. Nollywood, Nigerian cinema, is one of the fastest growing cinemas in the world. The world is going to change. Less and less of our media, less and less of our businesses are going to be conducted through Anglo-America. So, you're talking with, you're going to be talking with English with people who just don't have the same reference as you. The other problem there is that mistakes tend to fossilize. For example, one thing you will always hear in Peru is, oh, I am an English teacher, but my career is dentistry. I am an engineer, but my career is law. What does that mean? I don't understand what it means. I've been in interviews. I've been in offices in Peru, and people have said that to me. And I've looked at them and I've frowned. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. And that's my reaction. It took me about two years to understand what people were saying. They basically, when they, they are translating this word Korea, or transferring it directly into English, Korea means something else. Or if you're using it as a noun, you'll have to add another uh, adjective such as my academic or my educational career or my training if you're going to make it a verb or my education is in something but again career is not used in that context in english it's confusing and you know what happened i just zoned out for a minute there i got annoyed thinking about career and i missed what you were going to ask me so don't use that the other point is translation is not always going to be perfect okay she's a very she's my confident confident what have i just said there and that's if again i might be using slang that you're unfamiliar with or my accent might be strange i'm guessing most of you are thinking why does he talk so quickly. Well, in real life, I'm not going to be patient with you. I'm so, 
Yes, let's use English in the classroom. Let's only use English. Let's only insist on success. Let's not treat our subject as if it's an additional. It's just as important as mathematics, chemistry, or even playing football. You don't let children bend the rules playing football. Don't let them do it in English. Thank you for listening. Good luck with your English. Good luck.